In this video, I will show how to calculate a de novo genome assembly in bionumerics. To perform a de novo genome assembly, we only need the pre-processed dataset that was used to illustrate the trimming feature. We can open the experiment card for the data by clicking the experiment dot. From the sequence reset report, some basic summary statistics on the reads are displayed, including information on read set size, sequence length statistics, quality statistics, and individual base statistics. From the sequence reset experiment card, different analyses can be launched on the preprocessed data. Three analysis types are available. First, the charts and statistics functionality. Second, two different assembly analyses, and third, two metagenomics approaches. The assembly analysis can either be remapping of the reads onto a reference genome or a de novo assembly. Metagenomics analysis includes a sample diversity analysis or the identification of the operation taxonomic units against a taxonomic reference database. For this analysis, we will use the de novo assembly functionality. After the analysis is launched, a wizard pops up, querying for the different parameters. Within Bionumerics, two de novo assembly algorithms are incorporated, Velvet and Ray. Velvet is a set of algorithms to manipulate high-throughput sequence data for genomic sequence assembly. The algorithm is ideal for high-coverage short-read datasets. Ray is a parallel short-read assembler, which has been developed to assemble reads obtained from a combination of sequencing platforms. In this example, we will use the Velvet algorithms. When working with paired end data, the library insert sizes can be defined in this page of the dialog. Paired ends are typically used to optimize the assembly in regions with repeats larger than the read size. Otherwise, repeats longer than the library fragment size cannot be reliably assembled and will create gaps in the assembly. In this case, only single end data is present in this data set, and as such, we don't need to alter these settings as no paired end reads will be picked up by the algorithm. To resolve repeats, Velvet uses specific parameters based upon KMIR coverages. The coverage cutoff values can be defined on this page of the wizard. Default, the expected coverage and the coverage cutoff values are determined automatically. When the de novo contexts have been calculated by Velvet, the reads are mapped onto the created context. On the next page, the type of alignment can be specified. For this example, we can leave the default settings. After aligning the reads, the mapping is assessed. Parameters used for this assessment are the sequence identity, the maximum penalty score, and the minimum overlap region for the alignment. Again, for this analysis, we can leave all settings at their default values and proceed. Once the mapping is created, the basis of the target sequence will be called. The next pages contain the sequence quality settings and the base calling parameters. The de novo context will be saved to the same entry as the initial sequence read set. Only the sequence type where the concatenated context should be saved to need to be specified. For this example, we will save the results to the experiment type de novo genome. After confirmation, the power assembly window will pop up with the de novo assembly pipeline in place and the calculation automatically starts. Once the calculations have finished, the de novo contexts are concatenated and this concatenated sequence is saved to the database. For more detailed information on the project pipeline and the power assembly, the project settings, reports and assembly information, you can check our movies on the power assembly functionality. If you want to run multiple samples in parallel using the same assembly pipeline, 
You can do this by selecting all the entries in the database and by starting the assembly simultaneously on the database selection. This will automatically generate an assembly project for each sample and will execute them in batch. Tune in to our other videos to learn more about Bionumerics.